Yeah, and that's the thing that I can you concern yourself with again because if you can't build that consumer base in your market, retention's not there. People are going to watch the games and your RSNs. It's a, it's a crazy thing. Speaking of RSN right now, you see what's going on, man. Is, is it scary at all? Bali Sports following bankruptcy, the whole model ready to kind of be up ended. Is it, is it scary if you were a team owner or you are? Yes. Um, well, you know, I had a, I, I've, I've heard about it, and I, I, I can't really comment on that because I don't really know the ins and outs of that. But uh, you know, I hear that you know there's some problems there. So, I mean, it's it's definitely uh, going to have an effect on teams. Absolutely, man. That's a major revenue source. Your local revenue, your television revenue. I think that that definitely changes the dynamics of things. But you know, listen, you're in the Padel League now. We've talked about it earlier. What's the business model? What, what, what do you got? How do you earn money from a league like this, especially trying to build up a consumer base who may not know that this sport even exists? Yeah, you know, well, uh, Jabari, the, the, the sport's been around since 1969, mm -hmm. and it's it's big in Mexico. Here's what I this is my thought, thought process: it's big in Mexico, it's big in Spain, Argentina. I just had my friend; he went goes back and forth to Argentina since it's huge. There's 28 million people. It's big in Europe. It's big everywhere but the U.S. And why? Because simply because it hasn't been here that long. Mm -hmm. We're just getting into the U.S. But we're, we're going to have streaming to 100 million homes. So all the, all of our matches will be streamed. And also uh, we'll have national TV for the final game. And uh, I, I just think it's, it's a I, I played a lot of racquetball. I don't know if you ever played racquetball. I, I could never understand how that sport didn't take off because it was a Tremendous sport. Well, paddle ball, uh, padel ball is just like it, but it's a bigger ball, so you can see it on TV, and uh, it's fast. It's fast, and you have a male and a female on both sides. I think we, we can hit both audiences, the, the male and the female. I think that there's, there's a lot to it, and what, what our job is right now is to, to get, make the awareness to the people on the street, right. to make sure that they're aware. But what, to my surprise... There's more people that know about it than I thought. Mm. And once, once when Henry, uh, our owner, uh, main owner, uh, talked to me, you know, I didn't really know that much about it. Then I researched it and said, wow, a lot of people know about this. Mm. And I couldn't believe it. But we're, we're just trying to get the word out. I, I think eventually it'll be a big sport. I don't know. You know, it's not going to be NBA or anything, but it's going to be pretty big. It's, it's you know, uh, 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 pickleball is, is getting big. I don't know if you know that. Yeah, I do. And I was going to ask what the difference between. I mean, listen, you got. First of all, they, it all looks like tennis, and I'm sure tennis is sitting at the top. Like, wait a minute, those are our children. We birthed pickleball. We birthed pad put padel league. But you know, it, it all is kind of similar. But what would you say the difference between pickleball, which is a growing sport, and the padel league is? Well, we're just we're just a lot faster. I mean, if you you watch some of the matches. And, uh, you know, we, we're going to have, uh, we start actually May 13th in Tampa. Mm -hmm. There's seven teams. And, uh, you know, if you watch the matches, you'll see how fast it is. I mean, it's a fast, they slam it, comes off the back wall. You can hit it off the back wall. You can hit it if it goes ho over the, the plexiglass. You can hit it back into the court. It's, it's exciting. It's like uh, tennis on steroids. That's how we describe it. Tennis. I mean, listen. I love tennis, and if you say it's on steroids, and I, I definitely got to check it out. Is it is it is it a ticketing model? I mean, are you you plan on making money as an audience factor there, or, or is it more just kind of revenue share from a media rights perspective? Well, I think you have both. I think you have sponsorships, you have ticket revenue, and you have media. You know, the ticket revenue is going to be a, a challenge as you go because more people will get used to to it. More people will start playing. You know, we're just in the infancy, so mm -hmm. we're just creating this league if you will now the lead the the sport itself is like 50 years old right so right. we're not creating a new sport and we're not minor league we're major league and we're getting the best athletes in the world we we from what they say we drafted one of the best women athletes in the world so i mean you know th these are the kind of athletes that, that you have it's fast and you have to be in top shape and it you know also uh, jabari a lot of nhl players are playing it celebrities are playing it because, hey, what are you going to do? When you want to work out, you're going to go walk on a treadmill. I mean, how boring is that? Why not go to a padel court and play with your, your wife, your girlfriend, 
your friends and then play against another couple and it's a lot of fun it's fast and you can get a heck of a workout you the cornhole you know you have the cornhole league which a lot of people thought would be popular and and it is it is espn you know has the games and you can get used to it but that's another one but i've seen that league kind of grow and people were planted in the parks they played on their patio and so that they're already accustomed to that how are they going to get accustomed to paddle to, to the padel league to the padel league because like I say, it's you. Anybody can play, young, old, male, female. It's all encompassed. It's a sport for everyone. Anyone can play. It's exciting, and you get a great workout. And on TV, you can see the ball. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. uh, it's like a tennis ball, but it's like rubber. But uh, and it's just exciting. I mean, I, have you ever seen a clip on it? Have you I did. It? I watched it. Yeah, yeah that's why yeah, I said it looks so like I, a steel cage tennis match in a way. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why when we say we're, it's tennis on steroids because it's it's fast, but you know, and then eventually, hopefully, uh, you know, there could be some wagering on it in the future. Who knows? But I think that takes the sport because re- remember, we own the NBA. We we also own the Palms. We could we had to take the Sacramento Kings off our sports book, and so betting on sports has come a long way now. It's, yeah. Legal, legal in most states, I guess, most most all states. But that's where it's coming. So uh, eventually, hopefully, we get with wagering on the sport as well, and uh, and that's good. And and just I think people enjoy seeing it, sitting down and watching a, a great summer day or during the spring. Like I said, we go, we kick off uh, May thirteenth in Tampa. Mm-hmm. All the teams will will play against each other for that one year, and then we go back to our prospective cities.